We have our first three home games with the super team coming up this episode. And through the first four games, Tom Brady has been our team's superstar as he leads us in both rushing and passing yards so far. And we're gonna hope he continues to dominate here in our home opener. First and 10 as we're gonna start out with the ball. And just as we were talking about him, Brady's gonna start off with a run. That's not going very far. Bringing up now a second and nine. Brady back to throw. He's going right side and that's gonna be completed to Chicago Robinson who has the first down. That drive wouldn't end up amounting to anything, so the Lions would end up taking over all day in the pocket. They're gonna launch this one deep, and that's gonna be intercepted by Tom Brady. As we would get the ball back here at the start of the second quarter, Brady back to throw, rolling out to his right, and that's gonna be completed to Torrey Holt inside the 10, and he's gonna take this one into the end zone for a touchdown. As we would go up seven nothing, Lions taking over here on second and 18. Back to throw, and Brian Erlacher is there for the sack. Third and 25 now. It's going to be a quick pitch to the right side. Cut back up and in the flying dive power-up move. They have the first down and more. Can Chicago Robinson catch them? It's not looking like he will inside the 10. He's diving. That's no good. And Detroit gets on the board for the first time. Tied up at 7 apiece now with a minute left to go as we're looking to drive down here on offense and at least put on a field goal as Brady inside the 50 and down to the 41 of Detroit. He would have the first down and with two seconds left, Brian Erlacher would come out to kick a field goal headed into halftime. He would do just that. And we would move on to the second half here on the kick return as they're going to pull out the Vapors power-up move. No one around. Can Brian Erlacher make a touchdown saving tackle? No, he cannot. Both him and Ernie Steele will miss. And this will be taken to the house for a touchdown to open up the second half. Detroit with the lead, 14 to 10, as we're back on offense. First time in the second half, and LT is going to get the carry to the left side as he picks up the first down. First and 10 from the 45. Now Brady back to throw. He's looking. He's going left side, and he has Chicago Robinson, but no, he doesn't. That's going to be picked off and intercepted. Detroit would not go anywhere with the ball, though. We would get it back near the end zone. Brady looking to redeem himself. He will do just that as he connects with Torrey Holt for a touchdown. We would take the lead back 17-14. to Last play of the third quarter here. Going left side. That's going to be completed. Torrey Holt diving. Can't make the tackle inside the 50, down to the 40. No one in sight, down to the 20, to the 10. And this is going to be taken for another Lions touchdown as they'll take the lead back. A minute and 11 to go here with the ball on the 20-yard line. Brady going right side, but he's going to fumble it. Chicago Robinson's going to pick it up, and he's going to fumble it. And this time, Detroit is going to pick it up. Brady trying to make a tackle here. He can't catch him. He's putting on the Jets and will dive. He can't catch him, but Jocinda Smith finally with the touchdown saving tackle. First and 10 from the 34. Detroit back to throw. They're going to take off. Jocinda diving. No good. And that's going to be intercepted by LaDainian Tomlinson as we still have a chance here down by four with less than a minute to go. First and 10 from the 43. Brady back to throw. Across the middle, and that's going to be intercepted by the Detroit defense. I can't believe it. Another interception from Tom Brady as they're going to pull out an invisibility power-up, and that's going to seal the game for Detroit. Fourth and 17, they're going to punt. We have one last opportunity. We need to return this punt for a touchdown as the clock expires, and that's going to go out of the back for a touchback, and we are going to end up losing this game 21-17 to to the Lions. We had four costly turnovers for us in this game as Brady is now up to four interceptions on the season. And after that loss, we are tied with the Bears now for the division lead. So this rivalry game against them just became so much more important for us. Bears would open up with the ball here first in 10. From their 40, Jocinda Smith can't make the sack. Going left side, that's going to be completed. Tom Brady trying to make the chase down tackle. He cannot. And the Bears are going to take this opening drive for a touchdown and will strike first. So we'll take over third and six. Brady going, looking to the right side. Chicago Robinson cutting up, and he's going to drop it. So we would bring out the punt unit, Brian Erlacher, but it's a fake. 
He's looking, rolling to his left. He's going to throw. He has LaDainian Tomlinson. He's going to catch it inside the 50 and down to the Bears 37. That would bring us to a third and inches from the five-yard line. LT to the right side, jumping into the end zone for a touchdown, and we are on the board to close out the first quarter. First and 10 as we start the second quarter now. Bears back to throw. Quarterback hit as she throws. That's going to be completed, though, and Jocinda Smith with the monster up time is going to force the fumble. Chicago Robinson is going to pick it up, and he is going to make one defender miss as he's cutting back to the left side, and this could be a long play as he makes it all the way back to the 41-yard line. First and 10 from the 41 now. Looking to take the lead first time today. Brady makes a defender miss, and somehow that's completed to Chicago Robinson. I thought that was straight to the defender, but he's going to take this all the way down inside the 20. What a play by Robinson as that will set us up first and 10 from the 13. Brady going left side. That's going to be completed. LT diving into the end zone for another touchdown. We would take the lead with us in a minute to go here here in the first half. Chicago back to throw. That's going to be completed to the left side. Brady trying to make the saving tackle and he will. First down though for the Bears. Three yards later. Second and seven and look at this blown coverage. No one at all in the area in Chicago is going to tie this game back up. So we move to the second half now tied 14 all. Brady on third down. He's going to be stopped short. That would bring up fourth and two. We're going for it again. You know we can't punt it as Brady's going to take it to the left side and he's going to pick up a first down. From the 40 now, empty backfield. Brady rolling out to his right to Chicago Robinson who has it. But he's going to put the football on the ground and Chicago's going to recover. That's that Chicago to Chicago connection that we don't want as that's his second fumble in the last two games now. Bears with an opportunity now to take the lead second and five as they're going to drop back to throw looking left side and that's going to be completed. Erlacher can't make the tackle and Chicago's going to take the lead back. 21 to 14 as we start the fourth quarter. Brady rolling out, throwing across his body to the right side. That's going to be tipped and intercepted. Brady, you can't be doing that. I don't know what's been going on with Brady and his interception problems, but the Bears have a chance to double their lead, and they're going to do just that as we're down 14 with a minute and a half left to go. First and 10 from the 32. We need to make this comeback here. And we need to do it quick. Brady buying time. Going left side. And oh my goodness. That's another interception for Tom Brady. So the Bears would have it. First and 10. A minute 15 to go. Back to throw. They're launching this one deep. Right side. But Chicago Robinson is going to come up with the interception for us. Big time play from him. As now Brady rolling out to the right. He's spending all day. Can he get it off in time? He does. Across his body again. This time it pays off. Chicago Robinson making the one defender who can catch a miss and he's going to take this to the end zone for a touchdown. We're only down seven with less than a minute to go. Bears have a third and four. Jocinda Smith calling the monster time power up and she's going to get the stop. So we have nine seconds to work with Brady going right side. Chicago Robinson has it. He is wide open. He's going to get the flying dive power move, but that's not going to be enough to outrun all of the Chicago defense. As we're going to end up dropping our second game in a row to our rival, the Chicago Bears. Since we've been struggling so much through the air lately, I decided to swap in some new passing plays into our playbook. And hopefully these new plays can help make a difference in this next game. Back at home in the snow once again. Last snow game didn't go great for us, so we're hoping and it can go a little differently here as we're not off to a great start. Chicago Robinson really has been up and down the past couple games as Brady's going to fumble that one, but Brian Erlacher will pick it up. He'll be just short of the first down. While he has made some great plays, as look at this, a fake field goal just as we were talking about Chicago Robinson, but Ernie Steele's going to drop that. It's not only been a Chicago Robinson problem, but mostly him as he's been making some great plays, but he's been very inconsistent as he has two fumbles the last two games and has dropped many passes as Pittsburgh looks like they're going to strike first here as they're going to take that to the house for a touchdown. 
But this inconsistent play by our team on offense really has to turn around if we want to start winning again as finally we're getting on the right foot here as Tory Holt's going to take this one to the house. That was one of our new passing plays. It's paying off. A big third and 26 here for the Steelers. For some reason, they're going to call a quarterback sneak up the middle. I'm not going to complain about that. Our defense gets the stop. Less than 30 seconds to go here in the first half. Brady going right side and Torrey Holt creating some separation. He's going to find his way into the end zone second time today. As we would go up 14 to 7 over the Steelers. Last play here of the half and Chicago Robinson blowing coverage and it's going to give up a last second touchdown to close the half. Maybe I jinxed him. Maybe I shouldn't have been talking about his inconsistent play as he would give up that touchdown and now Pittsburgh looking to come back and take the lead this drive. Third and 14, we desperately need a stop here and Brady's gonna force an incomplete pass. So they would send the field goal unit out here for a three point attempt. The kick would be up and it would be good. As Pittsburgh at least is only up by three, we can take the lead here with a touchdown. Brady looking, going across his body again and when are we gonna learn Brady? We gotta stop doing that. Speaking of inconsistent play, Brady has really been struggling with the interceptions the past three games here. As thankfully our defense comes up with a stop and we have a chance to score. Brady's going to take this one left side and he's going to dive into the end zone for a touchdown. As I dare say, Brady has been almost doing better on the ground these past three games than he has through the air as Chicago Robinson with yet another interception. I will say he's been having his struggles on offense. A couple blown coverages here on defense, but for the most part, he has been a great defensive back for us so far. He just needs to pick it up a little at wide receiver. As Brady would run the clock out with that play, and we're thankfully going to walk away with a victory here. 21-17 over the Steelers. And with those struggles Chicago Robinson has been having, I was going to bench him. But honestly, we don't have anyone better at catching, so he's going to stay at wide receiver. Even with that win, though, we're still in third place of the division. So this rainy game was a must win for us against the Browns. Our offense really needs to turn things around in this game as we're going to get it going with LT on the ground. He's going to cut back left side. He has the first down and plenty more. Great way to start the game for us. As from the 33 now, Brady back to throw. He's looking left side to Chicago Robinson. He's going to haul this one in inside the 10 down to the 12 of Cleveland. As that would give us a fresh set of downs. Brady left side trying to make defenders miss. He's going to have a head on collision with Pablo Sanchez but he finds his way into the end zone. As the Browns would take over. Third and five. Left side. That's going to fall incomplete. But they would stay on the field and go for it here we come out in punt return formation and they're gonna catch us lacking as they're gonna convert and pick up the first down from the 23 now back to throw looking left side and it's none other than the goat Pablo Sanchez making Brady miss and he's gonna score first for the Browns today so that Pablo Sanchez touchdown would tie it up at seven apiece LT taking it left side on the pitch he has the corner he gets out in front of his defenders He's heading on for a collision with Pablo Sanchez, who takes him down at the 11. That would bring up a fresh set of downs now. Brady back to throw to the end zone, looking for Chicago Robinson, and he's going to connect for a touchdown. He heard about the possibility of him getting benched. He took that to heart, and he's looking to turn things around. As now LT on the defensive side of things is going to get involved. He's going to pick this one off, and he has a chance to bring this one back to the house. And it looks like he will inside the 10 into the end zone for our first pick six of the season. A horrible throw there by their quarterback, but they're going to look to bounce back here as they're going right side. That's going to be completed. Tom Brady cannot make the tackle, and this is going to be taken all the way to end the first half for a touchdown. Once again, our defense falling apart on the last play. We're getting sloppy. Thankfully, we'll force a fourth down here. And we would take back over still with a seven-point lead. Brady going left side on the quarterback keeper. Can he find the end zone second time today? Diving into the end zone, and yes, he will. 28-14, to 14, this might be our biggest lead of the year so far. Two possessions. We'll see if we can keep this as Brady's going to force another fourth down here with that tackle. But Cleveland once again catches us lacking as they bring out the offense on fourth down. 
We're in our special teams formation, and they're going to convert. It's third and five from the 12 now. Brian Erlacher misses the tackle, but Ernie Steele comes up clutch, forcing a fourth down. And I thought they were going to go for it, but I guess now they decide to bring out the special teams unit, and they're going to kick this field goal for three. That decision had me absolutely bamboozled, as they've been going for it on fourth down all day, and when they're down by 14 and close to the end zone, they decide to kick a field goal. I'm not gonna complain though, as that run would run out the clock and we're gonna walk away with a dominant 28 to 17 victory over the Browns as we get back on the winning track here at home. Although we only had 43 passing yards, this was definitely our best game running the ball so far. And after that game, we would only have six left to close out the season. Plenty of time to run the table and win this division. I don't know what the f has been going on with Tom Brady and his interception problem though. Even though it's not a league leading 22 through 8 games, he'll still have to figure this problem out by next episode if we want to keep winning.